All right, guys, uh, round three, here we go. Redemption round, let's do it. Uh, I think this hand is perfectly keepable. We'll turn one, uh, Temple Garden tapped. Uh, turn two, uh, Seeker, I'm thinking. Uh, the turn two is actually going to be a quarter paladin because it goes better with blade splicer. That would have been nice to have turn one, but oh well. Um, let's go ahead and not tip off our hand that we're in red quite yet. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go, quarter paladin. Next turn, uh, blade splicer. Turn after that, probably flame tongue kabu. It always feels nice when you have all of your mana sources. Ooh, Underworld Connections. Interesting. So here, I guess let's go ahead and just play... I think there's no reason not to play, like, Plateau. Blade Splicer. Swing three. We'll go to Flame Tongue Kavi, whatever he plays. We are not going to be able to Flame Tongue Kavu that. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I do this to... No, just creatures. Holy carp. Man, what do I do? I can attack for four. Man, this is bad. I think we just stare at each other. just stare at each other until I draw my Oblivion Ring. Because I'll gladly take five from this guy, and then, you know, my crackback is so good. Wow. Flexing Obliterator. Stands in my way pretty good. Or pretty well, I should say. If it was Phyrexian Negator, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it, obviously. But Phyrexian Obliterator? How do you attack into that? Well, I could attack into it. The most one of my creatures can do is four. So I could sacrifice four lands. All right, this just got better. Because now I can do that. I can play Honor of the Pure. I think now I ha I'm going to attack. I have to attack. Yeah, now I have to attack. And then I'll just sack some lands. But I have nothing to gain from... I mean, there's nothing to gain from just sitting around. And this is such a... This is such a... Like, this... this I like this attack because it is massive. You know, I'm going to be doing a ton of damage to him. And he's going to have to respect it. Yeah, sure, you can dismember... I'll just sacrifice three green sources, I guess. Or four green sources. So I'm going to do... F yeah. Let's go one... Two... Three... Four and then win next turn. Yeah, I think that's the only way I'm going to win is by doing these really massive attack. It was by doing a massive attack like that or drawing my O-ring. 
Ugh, wasteland. Of course, that's what he drew. <laughs> I can actually, I can win next turn if he doesn't have anything else. So I can do th four, yeah. I know it's risky, but this is the only plan I really have. If he kills my battle cry guy like, right now, I won't do it. Okay, so he kills that. So I can get through four damage here. No, three damage here. So yeah, not enough. I think now we just we I think now we play the waiting game. And hope we top deck some burn. Although, you know, I don't have the lands to play it, but oh well. You know, a better strategy last time might have been to flame tongue Kavu him first. No, because I don't want to sack too many creatures. Yeah, this is just, if, if, yeah, I wish this did this to uh, players as well, but that's all fine. Yikes. There's the Oblivion Ring, a turn too late. I'm not going to give up quite yet, though. See, this can, you can just tap to destroy target creatures, yeah. But I have him down to a very precarious life total. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and concede this game. I don't, we, we can't win from this position. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so, what do we want? I think Zealous Conscripts looks pretty good. Mirroring Crusader looks very good. What is bad? I think Rabble Master... Maybe not. Well, maybe it is bad. I think, I think Searing Spear is bad. Do I have any more sort of Exile? This is pro black. So I don't want to play that over, say. No, I just don't like this card at all, even if it is pro black. I think we take out Bloodbraid Elf. Let's go ahead and take out Mirari's Wake and put in the pro-black, just on a gamble here. I'll see you guys in the next game.